it's a pleasure to have you join me on this virtual journey. Welcome. Thank you for joining us today as we dive into Lake County Examiner. The Lake County Examiner is a weekly newspaper published in Lakeview, Oregon, United States. It was founded in 1880 by Stephen P. Moss and Charles A. Cogswell. Over the years, the paper has had a number of publishers. Today, the newspaper is owned by Adams Publishing Group. In addition to the weekly newspaper, the Examiner staff publishes a number of special editions each year along with a local real estate guide and a twice-weekly news flyer. In this section, we'll be exploring newspaper. The Lake County Examiner is a weekly newspaper that serves Lake County, Oregon. The newspaper is published every Wednesday in Lakeview, the county seat of Lake County. The Examiner is a community newspaper that primarily covers local news, sports, business, and events. Most of the newspaper's advertising is local as well. The Examiner had a circulation of approximately 2,400. The newspaper maintains an online presence through Woolicky County Examcom, a website that features local news, commentary, sports, obituaries, and community announcements. The examiner normally has between five and nine employees. There were six full-time staff members plus one part-time employee working at the examiner. The newspaper's annual revenue is estimated to be between $1 million and $2.50 million. The examiner is a member of the Oregon Newspaper Publishers Association, Oregon's Newspaper Trade Association. Moving forward, we'll be taking a closer look at other publications. In addition to the weekly newspaper, the examiner staff publishes up to 12 special editions each year. The special editions focus on local industries such as farming, ranching, and forestry as well as events like the Lake County Fair and Lake Edu's annual Hang Gliding Festival. The staff also publishes a local real estate guide called Home Sweet Home. Twice a week the examiner publishes a legal size street flyer called the Lakeview Lowdown. This offers news bullets and local advertising and is distributed through Lakeview area restaurants. The company also does job order printing and publishing, photocopying, bookbinding, and engraving. The examiner is registered to do contract printing and publishing work for the federal government. Get ready to immerse yourself in the world of history as we examine its impact and relevance. It was created by the Oregon State Legislature in 1874 and founded by Charles A. Cogswell and Stephen P. Moss in 1880. The town of Lakeview was established two years later and became the county seat for Lake County. It was started as a weekly newspaper published in Lakeview. The newspaper's first editor was Frank Coffin. In its early editions, the examiner used extremely small print type. The newspaper's front page often included anecdotes and fiction along with feature stories and news. When the newspaper began, a one-year subscription cost $3. However, the newspaper's main source of income was legal notices for land claims, which homesteaders were required to post publicly. After a few years in business, the examiner installed an 8 medium Gordon Franklin job press and changed to a new larger print style. Around 1883, the examiner merged with another Lakeview newspaper, the State Line Herald. While the State Line Herald was Lakeview's first newspaper, established in 1878, the combined publication kept the Lake County Examiner name. After the merger, the paper began advocating Republican politics on its editorial page. During the ERS, the examiner was sold a number of times. In 1884, Fuller Snelling became Charles Kigswell's partner. Bruce Allen and Frank W. Beach then bought the newspaper in 1885. A year later, Seneca Celsius. Beach bought out Allen's share, forming the company of Beach and Beach. It was published by Beach and Beach until 1891, when Frank Beach left to become editor and publisher of the Linkville Weekly Star. On 22 May 1900, a fire burned most of Lakeview. There were no deaths, but 64 buildings were destroyed. Only two downtown business structures survived the fire. 
However, the examiner staff rescued enough equipment and material to publish a special edition the day after the fire. In 1905 Celsius, Oscar Metzger became the newspaper's publisher. Metzger installed a linotype machine to streamline the typesetting process. At about the same time, the examiner began publishing eight pages per issue with eight columns per page. In the early years, the newspaper added political cartoons and a regular candidate column to discuss political candidates. Upbeat business articles about Lake County were common along with announcements for community events and meetings. Editorials offered opinions on politics, economic issues, and legal decisions. During this period, the examiner also printed short stories and poems along with advice on women's fashions. However, public notices for land and mining claims remained an important revenue source for the newspaper. In 1911, the examiner was purchased by Fred P. Cronemiller, who also owned the Evening Herald in Klamath Falls, Oregon. His son, G.D. Cronemiller, became editor and publisher of the examiner when his father died in 1924. In 1935, Cronemiller sold the examiner to Celsius, J. Gillette and Hugh McGilvera. In 1983, the examiner was acquired by the Pioneer News Group. Pioneer sold its papers to Adams Publishing Group in 2017. Have any questions or topics you'd like me to cover in future videos? Let me know in the comments.